Hello friends in this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to create invoice for multiple items by using PHP script with jQuery. We have received so many requests from our viewers for a developed video tutorial on PHP jQuery invoice. In this we have used jQuery code for make invoice for multiple item, so we can create invoice with multiple dynamic item on front end and after this we will submit form to PHP service script and data inserted into table and make invoice in PDF format. In this invoice script we will use three tags because mainly everywhere more than one tax structure has been applied. So in this script we have used three tax so we can add as per our requirement of tax an invoice. Here we will first discuss how to display list of invoice and then after we will learn how to create invoice for multiple item, then after how to convert invoice in PDF format. Then we will see how to edit existing invoice and lastly we will see how to delete invoice from list. Now let's start discussing this topic, this is our testing for database with two table like order table and order item table. In order table we will store client information and total amount of invoice and in order item table we will store item details like price quantity and many more. In order table their table column like order id, order no, order date, order receiver name, order receiver address. Order total before tax, order total tax 1, order total tax 2, order total tax 3, order total tax, order total after tax and order date time. Here order it is primary key of this order table. This is our second table order item and in this table we have column like order item it, order it, item name, order item quantity, order item price. Order item actual amount, order item tax 1 rate, order item tax 1 amount, order item tax 2 rate, order item tax 2 amount, order item tax 3 rate, order item tax 3 amount and order item final amount. Here order item it is a primary key of order item table and order it is foreign key of this table and this column value will be get from order table order it value. This our invoice.php page and on this page first we have include bootstrap style sheet link, second list is for javascript library jQuery, third is for bootstrap javascript, fourth is for jQuery data tables javascript file, fifth is for data tables bootstrap javascript file and lastly for data tables bootstrap style sheet. We will use functionality of this all library for make simple invoice script. First we want to display list of invoice on web page in jQuery data tables, so we have write table tag with attribute it is equal to data table with table heading like invoice ed, invoice date, receiver name, invoice total, pdf, edit and delete. Now we have moved to write jQuery code for activate jQuery data tables plugin, so here we have write variable table is equal to dollar with table lib data table with data table method. This method will initialize data table plugin. Now we want to load order table data, so first we want to make database connection, so here we have create one database connection.php file. In this file we will make database connection. Under this file we have write dollar connect variable is equal to noob no class with my SQL host is equal to locale lost. 
Database name is equal to testing form, username set to root and password set to blank. This way we can make database connection in bulk. Now we have moved to invoice.php page and here we have write include statement and under this we have write database connection.php page. So by using this include statement we can access code of database connection.php page. After this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to database connection string dollar connect with prepare statement and under this statement we have write select star from order table with order by order it in descending order. This is simple query for fetch data from order table. Now we want to execute this query so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. By using this method we can execute query. Now we want to get result of executable query. So we have write dollar all query variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. By using this method we can fetch result from query execution and store into this dollar all result variable. After this we want to count total affected rows. So we have write dollar total rows variable is equal to dollar statement variable with row count method. By using this method we can get number of affected rows and store into this dollar total rows variable. Now we want to print so here we have write of statement with condition like value of dollar total rows variable is greater than zero then it will execute if block of code. So suppose suppose dollar total rows variable value is greater than zero then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write for each loop with condition like dollar all result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop we have write echo statement and under this statement we have write open and close table row tag and between this tag we have write open and close table data tag and here we have write dollar row order no variable. So here it will print order no from order table. After this we have defined second table data tag and between this tag we have write dollar order date variable. It will print order date data from order table. Then after we have write third table data tag and between this tag we have write dollar row order receiver name. It will display order receiver table column data. Below this we have defined fourth table data tag and between this tag we have write dollar row order total after tax variable, which print value of order total after tax column data here. After this we have write fifth table data tag and between this we want to define link for create PDF. So here we have write anchor tag with attribute ref is equal to print invoice.php page with question mark pdf is equal to 1 and it is equal to dollar roll order it variable with anchor tax pdf. So this is simple link for create pdf. Now we want to define edit invoice link. So here we have again write table data tag and between this tag we have write anchor tag with attribute ref is equal to invoice.php with question mark update is equal to 1 and it is equal to dollar row order is variable. This is simple edit invoice link. Lastly we want to define delete invoice button. So here we have write table data tag and between this tag we have write anchor tag with attribute ref is equal to hashtag. It is equal to dollar roll order it variable and class is equal to delete. This is delete invoice link. This way we have load invoice data under this data table. Now we have saved this code and check invoice data has been display under data table or not.
friends we can see when page has been loaded into browser then we can see that invoice list under data table with link of PDF, edit and delete. Here we can see jQuery data table functionality like pagination, searching, column sorting and many more. Now we will see how to create invoice. So now we have already seen how to display invoice data in table format. Now we have moved to learn how to create new invoice with multiple items by using PHP with jQuery. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.